I'd like to echo Mike. Uh, thanks to the, to the staff. Uh, I know they were in my office yesterday afternoon late and still managed to get me a briefing book with everything in it. Uh, it's a testimony of their, their initiative and their, uh, their abilities. Uh, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding another hearing on the important topic of ensuring that our senior citizens have access to the best available durable medical equipment supplies and services as offered by small businesses. The House Small Business Committee and this subcommittee recognize that small business is critical to the economic health of this country. The competition provided by small businesses ensures lower prices, greater supplies, higher quality, and increased innovation. Rural America presents unique issues with respect to providing health care services to residents. Distances are vast, population density is low, and health care providers are few. More importantly, small businesses play an almost irreplaceable role in providing health care services in rural areas. Without a robust small business sector, the ability of other businesses to provide quality health care to the employees would falter. The result will be a diminishing, diminishing of the economic well-being of rural areas because employees will not locate in areas where they cannot get adequate health care. <clears throat> Policies must ensure that all Americans, wherever they live, have access to the highest quality of health care, whether that is the services of surgeons or suppliers of slings for patients. In 2003, Congress mandated that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, institute competitive bidding for the provision of durable medical equipment supplies. <clears throat> Implementation of this program has raised significant concerns with small businesses. In fact, the concerns were so serious that Congress acted to delay the implementation of the bidding program that was to go into effect on July 1, 2008. On January 16, 2009, in response to the actions of the 110th Congress, CMS issued new, some new rules on the implementation of competitive bidding. <clears throat> I'm very interested in hearing from the suppliers represented here today whether the concerns that led to Congress to action last July have been ameliorated by subsequent administrative decisions by CMS. If those concerns have not been allayed, then I'm interested in hearing what potential problems will exist for the small businesses that are involved in providing durable medical supplies and equipment to America's senior citizens. Finally, I'm interested in hearing what improvements can be made to the competitive bidding process <coughs> that will reduce any adverse consequences on small business. I think it's important that Congress have the information necessary to act if CMS adopts a procedure that forecloses numerous small businesses from participating in the competitive bidding process. Without small business, the competitive bidding program will not lead to lower prices, greater supply, and increased innovation in the, in the durable medical equipment marketplace.